Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, for those who are just joining us, I'm Joannis and I'm actually a recent or uh, new grad registered nurse, um, but I completed the accelerated nursing program and on my channel I talk about nursing, especially through the accelerated nursing program and also tips and tricks for international students. So as always, if you're interested, like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 you know the drill. Okay, so this is actually a part two to the first video that I made um, talking about um, some of the most common questions I've received about the accelerated nursing program. So again, I apologize if this video is long, so watch it at two times, ten times the speed, whatever you want, but please, please, please watch it. Okay, so the first question is, what schools offer the accelerated nursing programs? I will put on the screen a picture, so take a screenshot. As always, still do your own personal research, but these are the schools. Okay, so the second question, so it's not really a question, but I just felt maybe I'll just put it in here just to help people. But it's basically, um, what are some other names for the accelerated nursing program? So most schools or a lot of schools actually refer to it as accelerated nursing program, but some other schools call it something else. So some schools, I believe Western University calls it the compressed time frame nursing. Some schools call it second degree nursing program. Some schools call it second entry nursing program. Some schools, I believe like Dalhousie, call it like advanced standing entry nursing program. So keep that in mind while you're doing your search. Um, make sure you read through like the program review to make sure that it is the accelerated nursing program. So the third question is, which prerequisite courses should I take? My personal advice would be take the path of least resistance. So I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to use like three main schools to like give you an example. So we'll start with like McMaster University and we'll just go through the prerequisite courses. So as you can see, here are some courses listed and here it's asking for like two courses of psychology, um, two courses of human physiology and uh, or at least one anatomy and one physiology course the key thing that you want to do is maybe create like a a flow chart or a flow sheet and list out the number of prerequisite courses each school asks for so as you can see um if you also scroll down you can see you know some extra stuff and more details about these prerequisite courses now we're just going to move on to like a different um university this is um western university and as you can see the prerequisite courses are way like they're fewer right it's just asking for two human physiology courses one anatomy course and one statistics course it doesn't ask for psychology like um um like mcmaster university so these are some things that you can consider if you're trying to decide the school that you want to attend and here we have like uh university of toronto again asking for similar things but if you scroll down you can see it's also asking for some courses in social science and humanities so it's up to you. You also have to keep in mind, you have to pay money to take these courses. So um, that being said, it does not mean that taking fewer courses is the easiest solution for everybody. You may also be in a situation whereby you're trying to raise your GPA. And so maybe taking more courses may be in your best interest. But these are some things that you can look out for to help you decide what courses you should take and i guess which school you should look to apply to so the next question is how long will it take for me to complete the prerequisite courses again this is one of those questions where i'd say it depends on the applicant but i will give you this 
So if you are taking the prerequisite courses in your home country, obviously I have no idea because I'm not in a country, so I do not know. But I can tell you this about Canada. So if you're going to like a typical like in-person university, which is what most universities here are, one semester is about like three to four months. So for example, your fall semester runs from like September to December. And your winter semester runs from like January to um, April. And typically in one semester, most schools allow you to take up to five courses um, in that one semester. So again, like I said, depending on the applicant and how many prerequisite courses you may need to take, depending on your situation, you can complete it in one you know semester within that four month three to four month period um if you need to take more then you may have to you know spill it over into the next semester that being said there are also some things to keep in mind that's one particular course um human physiology that most if not all accelerated nursing schools ask for most schools ask for like um two parts so like the two human physiology courses so as opposed to like one human physiology a lot of them ask for two now typically for most schools in canada when a course has like a part one and a part two most times those courses are offered in separate semesters so like part one may be offered in the fall semester and part two may be offered in the winter semester so if you are someone who's looking to take the prerequisites and you have to take both um human physiology one and human physiology two you may end up spending like the full like maybe eight months just to get those two courses and they about but like i said it may vary depending on the school but on average most schools go like that um i also talked about in a previous video an online university called athabasca university here in canada again disclaimer i did not attend that university so um just keep that in mind but i do know that their own timeline or duration for um taking courses may be different longer or shorter compared to like the regular in-person universities again feel free to look that up and see what it's all about i think that's pretty much it for most of the questions that i've received if you feel like you have more questions feel free to ask like subscribe if you want to see more of this you can also follow me on my tiktok that's my new obsession now on my instagram if you want to see more of my shenanigans as always stay blessed